Hello, I'm Chef Michael Ferrazzani, and I'm going to be making a turkey sloppy joe. And the ingredients are as follows. We have one pound of ground turkey, one half cup of diced white onion, one half cup of diced green pepper, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of ground cumin, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one cup of ketchup. Okay, and we're ready to get started now. We're going to take our olive oil. We're going to put that in a hot saute pan. We're going to add a diced onion and a diced pepper. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to this. Now, it's important in cooking, whenever you're using any raw ingredients, you want to season as you go. Don't wait until you put all the ingredients in. Expect everything to catch up and be seasoned. So we're going to saute this up for about two to three minutes until the onions and peppers start to soften. Okay, now that we've gotten our onions and our peppers softened, we're going to add our turkey. And again, we're going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I like to use turkey in this recipe. Obviously, Sloppy Joe's is a traditional recipe, but try it with the ground turkey. It's very healthy. It's a little better for you than, than the ground beef is. And you don't have to, when you put your ground beef in, Usually you have to drain it for the fat. You don't have to do that with the ground turkey. And what you want to do is brown this turkey up for about seven to nine minutes. And as you can see, I'm breaking up all the lumps because you want this turkey to be, uh, you don't want any clumps or lumps in there. All right, we've got our ground turkey that's browned up very nicely. Now we're going to add our remaining ingredients. The ground cumin, white vinegar, our Dijon, Uh, Worcestershire sauce, a little brown sugar in there, and you got to have it, the ketchup. And we want to get that all mixed up, incorporated nicely. As you can see, it really darkens up once you put that ketchup in there. And I got to tell you, you'd be hard pressed to tell if this is ground beef or ground turkey. So we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes and we'll be ready to serve. Okay, we've let our Sloppy Joe uh, mixture simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes and we're ready for presentation. I have here, we have a couple of uh, Kaiser uh, poppy seed rolls that we've sliced in half. And we're just going to layer this Sloppy Joe mixture right over the top of the buns. And as you can see, it looks just like ground beef. Ah, but it's better. Sorry, Mom. Your Sloppy Joe's never tasted this good. There you have it. Turkey Sloppy Joe's. Enjoy.